Another event property that's sometimes useful to know about is the related target property. Now, related target has to do with where you're coming from or where you're headed to. And if you're dealing with focus and blur or mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse out, mouse over, drag enter, drag exit, focus in, focus out, any of those pairs of events where you've got a current place and then some place that you're headed to or some place where you just were, that's where related target comes into play. So I've got a page here with um, one input field that's using the focus in and focus out event handlers and this one's using focus and blur. Now focus in and focus are going to do the exact same thing. Focus out and blur are going to do the exact same thing. Um, it's kind of like with mouse enter, mouse leave, mouse over, mouse out. The only difference between the two of them is that focus and blur actually do bubble up through other objects, and uh, the focus in and focus out don't bubble. Um, so the situations where you're going to be dealing with focus and blur and actually have nested objects that are listening for focus and blur is going to be quite rare. So you can have images that are inside of anchors. Images and anchors are both capable of being focused. Um, text fields, anything that you put inside of a form can have focus. Uh, but there's not a lot of things outside of that that would ever have focus, so to nest them is going to be quite rare. So most of the time, focus in, focus are going to be the exact same thing. Focus out and blur are going to be the exact same thing. I've added them both into here just so I've got a place where I can go back and forth between different things that are focused and blurred. So what I'm doing on my page is when I click on one of these elements, I'm going to be actually focusing on this element. So I click here and I set the background or the color of the text to gold. So I click, there it is. This field has focus and the text is turned to gold. And you can see that my focus in, focus in event listener fired. Now, if I click away from here, I'm not focusing on something else, but I am going to be doing the focus out event away from here. So that puts my text back to black. I focus in, it's gold. I focus out, it's black. Over here, same sort of thing happens. On focus, I turn it gold. On blur, I put it back to black. All right. Pretty simple so far. Now, when I'm moving between one object with focus and another object that's going to get the focus, what's going to happen is I'm leaving here, so my blur event is going to happen on here, my focus in event is going to fire here, but I'm also going to be getting access to that related target property. And I'm in my code, I'm writing out when I do that. So I clicked on this one. Blur input right. So the blur happened here first, and then in that event listener for blur, I was able to check and see, okay, do you have a related target property? Yes? Okay. One is the ID, and this input is ID is one, and this one the ID is two. So I clicked over here, and it knew that the related target was one. That's where I was headed. Then the focus in on number one happened, and then the related target, once I focused here, the related target became this one, number two. So I'll click out here. I'm not focused on anything. I focus in again. Here, I'll refresh to clean this up. I click in. I focused inside of here. When I click over here, I'm going to get the blur. And because I'm going from one focus to another, it's going to write out the message saying that I'm headed to, num to input number one. There it is. So I'm blurring the one on the right. I'm headed to the one on the left. I'm focusing on the one on the left, which means I now have a related target, which is this one over here. So let's look at the code just briefly. My div has got class in out. The other div has got focus blur. I've got a text field with one and a text field with two as the ID. So my input inside the first one, same thing for both. I've got a focus in and a focus out. 
listener. And then on the other side, I've got a focus and a blur for the inputs. Here's the two functions, go in and go out. That's going to be my focus in and out. And do focus, do blur, my two functions down here. Whenever I'm focusing on something, focusing on one of the inputs, I'm setting the color to gold. And when I'm leaving it on out, the focus out, I'm setting it back to black. Now I've also added this extra little bit of code right here. I'm checking to see if related target exists. Because if I'm inside this input and I click on a paragraph, the paragraph cannot get focus. So therefore, there is no related target. So I'm when I'm leaving, there's no related target. There's nothing I'm headed to. If I'm coming from a paragraph going to the input, related target again will be null because the paragraph could not hold focus. So therefore, there was nothing in here. This EV related target would be null and then this wouldn't run. So I only get this extra little bit of code, uh, code where it's writing headed to related target or just left related target. I only get that if I'm moving between two things that can actually keep focus. All right, so I hope that made sense. Um, I will leave the code for this page as a code gist in the links in the comments. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave them below. As always, thanks for watching.